Hey everyone, this is Shepard. I'm just going to do a quick run through uh, against a random monster, Monster Hunter Portable 3rd. I'll just be demonstrating the dual swords against the Ice Ignactor. Um, don't expect too, too much commentary. It's late. And I really just want to show off the improved graphics a little bit. So hopefully you find this fight mostly enjoyable and I don't do too terribly. Oops. Uh, so sometimes I end up going out the wrong entrance if I'm not paying attention or looking at the map. But I might be able to sneak up on the Ignactor now. Usually he's facing the other direction. Or not. Alright, so that was not some sort of glitch. If you're able to hit him in the ice armored spot enough, right before he screams, sometimes it causes a flinch. You just saw it there. Pretty easy to look at. Of course, the hard part is just getting him into a position where you can easily hit him. Oh, yes. And uh, evasion plus one would is not necessary, but it, it does help out a lot when it comes to uh, evading through a lot of his attacks. Um, a lot of times you end up evading into him anyways, so it's not that big of a deal. See, like, that's no problem. And I brought a ton of fish, so I'm just going to keep using them as much as I can. He's going to try and snipe me from the ceiling. Oh, and uh, he attacked on the ground too. Did not anticipate that. And sometimes he just goes on forever and ever. And this is kind of proof of why you don't want to endlessly demon dance, because you can end up missing opportunities to evade out of attacks. And of course, uh, whenever you're hit out of an attack, you got to re-demonize, which is kind of a pain. It's not a big deal. I think the great baggie just showed up. You didn't know, actually, your character only flinches uh, at a monster if he does not have his weapon drawn. I guess because he's afraid? <laughs> Something like that? Not really sure. But, um... Demon dancing all the time anyways gets boring, in my opinion. You know, there's so many other combos you your character can do. Does it have to be in demonized mode, dancing all the time? Although that does do pretty significant elemental damage. Um, I think you probably get more raw damage off in the long run, attacking normally. See, I went a little bit too far that time. But um, he's not in rage mode, so he didn't do too, too much damage. Uh, see, his uh, chest just barely clipped me, and I didn't have enough stamina to evade a second time because I was in demonized mode. He's going to keep screaming, but um, that's only a good sign. I mean, he's, he's taking a lot of damage. Okay, so when he finally goes on his back, we can go ahead and enter demonized mode again. Free hits. Free flinch as well. Wow. Lucky much? Oh, 
I thought I was going to break his fin that time. Did I run out of stamina? I did. Alright, sit. A little bit of a... A handicap of, of not actually keeping your uh, HUD up. But um, I think it makes the uh, quality of the video just a, a... You know. Just good enough that it's worthwhile. Oh, come on. How did he know? What if he's going to scream? Attack at the air. Okay, that should be enough health for now. Oh, I thought he was gonna fall over. Well, I got kind of lucky with those flinches then. Of course, I could be popping. Uh, Mega juices or whatever. This entire time. Well, that's it's not cheating. It's a little bit like cheating. Uh, I will now though because my stamina is going to be shot anyways. Kind of the benefit of the side hops is it lets you get out of the way really fast. Okay, you can see that uh, I need to go into demonize mode again. Got to build that gauge up, um, but it builds really quickly in this game. As long as you're using the circle attack, it goes up very quickly. See, almost two two commas will almost finish it. And with the Gun Lance and Sword and Shield, I, I've actually been able to get him to pop out of the ground as he's digging. I think if you just hit an icy part with a fire damage as he's digging, it'll cause him to flinch and pop out that way. Alright, so always just make, you know, just keep an eye out where his head is pointing, because that's probably where he's going to be attacking next. Okay, I'm going to demonize mode. Get off the dancer too. And could not be in a better space to be other than right underneath him as he's doing that attack. And so far, so good. We may as well punish him while he's digging. He would do the same to you. <laughs> I think that's his last one and then he pops out of the ground again. Yeah. Well, you know, if I was actually attacking then, that may have worked. I'm not really getting very lucky with uh, evading through that, and I think that's because I don't have enough stamina along those lines. Why did he come back again? Out of here. Leave. Okay, so I, I don't know if he's gonna attack me or if he's gonna run around the area. He might be hungry. Oh, he is. So I don't know if he's still, like, exhausted or anything like that. Oh, he is. Kind 
how detailed his frosty head is. I like that. Was his I'm ready to be captured walk or his I'm exhausted walk? Could be both. <laughs> Why are you so mad? actually evaded right through that. <sighs> I did not evade right through that. That just takes practice. I mean, the issue is, is you're not always in the exact same spot every time when it does that attack. So my stamina is gone. We'll just work on finishing this one last leg. We should be able to do it. My other trap is gone, so I guess I'll capture. Although I think I'll I'll break that one last foot. I think he's going to this area anyways. This is usually where he runs to. so close. I wonder if there's like a statistic on which leg gets broken the least. There we go. Uh, maybe I'll just go for the kill. Let's see if we find out how long. Uh, it's been about 15 minutes. It's not a great time. It's not a terrible time either. Alright, well, he's gonna do this. I'm just gonna go ahead and attack him. <laughs> so bendy. Stop running. Stop running, you coward. minutes for a nice snack tour. I'm sure there are better runs out there, but I mean, you know, for a random demonstration, 
against a random monster for Monster Hunter Portable 3rd. That's not too bad. I'll take it. I got most of the breaks too. I didn't I did not get the tail. Although I feel as if the tail is something you could probably get in the rewards. Uh Wow, that's really gross. <laughs> High definition Giganox egg. <laughs> oh man. I don't get four carbs. Oh, so you probably want to see my weapons and armor. This is the uh, silver and gold dual swords, sword saint piercing. Uh, alloy uh, chest, Damascus arms, and uh, tacit, and the silver Rathalos legs. Oh, and it's a plus nine uh, attack talisman. Plus two hearing protection. Okay, so until next time, this is Shepard saying good luck and have a good hunt. Hey everyone, this is Shepard. I'm just going to do a quick run through uh, against a random monster, Monster Hunter Portable 3rd. I'll just be demonstrating the dual swords against the Ice Ignactor. Um, don't expect too, too much commentary. It's late and I really just want to show off the improved graphics a little bit. So hopefully you find this fight mostly enjoyable and I don't do too terribly. Top of page 2, 1, 2, 3, go. One, two, three, go. One, two, three, go. One, two, three, go.